Hey y'all, I'm back in the kitchen and um, we're a little bit hungry so I asked Troy what he wanted and he wanted uh, some more fish sticks and chicken tenders which I picked up at Costco. These are the most delicious fish sticks and chicken tenders. But the reason I'm bringing you on here is because I'm going to put some in the June oven on the air bake, air fry, whatever you want to call it, the convection. But I'm going to make uh, a sauce that is an almost exact copycat of the Chick-fil-A sauce. And I want y'all to learn how to do that. So I'm going to get some of these on my tray here. And I've sprayed my little rack with uh, kitchen spray. And I'm going to add some chicken nuggets. These are all white meat. I, when I went the other day, they didn't have any. I guess everybody's bought them up. But um, very good chicken tenders. It's Purdue. And I've noticed on Facebook that you can order and it will be delivered to your door. It's no antibiotics. Uh, they have an all vegetarian diet, no hormones or steroids. Um, and it's verified. It's USDA verified. So it's a that's a good brand to buy if you're going to buy some. Now this is Trident Raw Caught Alaskan Polak. Is that how you say that? The ultimate fish stick. And they're breaded with uh, panko crumbs. So these are really good too. Sometimes it's fun to have something that's just a good easy meal. So what I like to do with these is I like to make me a fish sandwich or fish, fish tacos. Okay, I'm just going to put some on the rack here. And um, I have to cook them about 20, 24 minutes is what I usually do because I like for them to be a little crispy. And then we will, that's, that's what we're going to have for lunch. I might fry him some potatoes to go with them. I'll have to see that we're going to have fish sticks and chicken tenders and a good dipping sauce. Y'all like to learn new dipping sauces or y'all may already know how to do it. And if you have a particular sauce that you fix for your family and you want to share it, I'll be very glad to do it on the channel. Tell everybody who gave it to me. Okay, I'm going to let the oven preheat and then I'm going to get these in the oven. And uh, I'll bring y'all back over here when I'm mixing up the dipping sauce here in a minute. It won't be long. I have my tray ready. Let's see if I can let y'all see. Fish sticks and chicken nuggets. Going to go in the oven. And um, we're going to have a good old fast food feast here in a little bit. Are y'all ready for this? It's so easy and it's so good. Let me get a little whisk so I can stir it really well. I'll use this little one right here. All we're going to take is one half cup, and you need to get this brand, Ken's Honey Mustard. And you can make as much or as little as you want. I'm just going to make this much. So you need a half a cup of the honey mustard into your little dish. And you're going to need two tablespoons of sweet Baby Ray's original barbecue sauce. Now, I've seen recipes where they added uh, some chopped onion and blah, blah, blah. This one tastes so close to the one that you get at Chick-fil-A. Tell if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Just make it like it says and enjoy it. I'm going to let it set for just a little bit. When we get our chicken tenders out, I will um, 
taste of it on one of the chicken tenders and let y'all observe the goodness. My daughter gave me this recipe. They never can get enough Chick-fil-A sauce and so she had gotten the recipe from somebody and, and she stressed, be sure you use Ken's honey mustard and Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Now I know that in some areas y'all may not have these brands and if you don't then use what you can find of course. But if you can use the original recipe that would be nice. I'll be back in just a little bit. I've peeled a potato and I've got a potato frying over here for us right now too. For Troy, I'll probably make me a fish taco. That potato's fine. I just peeled one great big russet potato. Oh, this was a one. quick one, wasn't it? And it's a delicious one. So I've got the, the Chick-fil-A copycat sauce here. And I've got chicken nuggets cooked and fish sticks and french fries. And I'm going to get some coleslaw out. So now y'all have an idea of how to make you some sauce. And if you don't have sweet baby rays, use what you've got. And if you have mustard and honey, make your own honey mustard if you can't get Ken's. There's always a way. You've heard where there's a wheel, there's a way. Well, that's the absolute truth. So I want y'all to try this. Let me know what you think about it. And like I said, if you have a sauce that your family likes, please share it in the comments below. And um, we'll try it. And we'll show it to everybody. And we'll see if they like it. And if you don't want to comment on it there, my email address is in the show more box. And you can email it to me. Y'all stay home. And let's get this virus done. So we can get on with life. Say your prayers. Be kind to everybody. And come back here in a day or two and learn something new. The Lord bless you.